Welcome back to Block TV. This is Block Hits. We round up the top headlines from around the crypto sphere. Bloomberg reports how Facebook CEO says Libra won't launch until U.S. approval. Coindesk reports how U.S. lawmaker introduces bill classifying stablecoins as securities. Cointelegraph reports how banks may cut ties with Facebook if Libra is launched. You Today reports how Ripple opens new office in the heart of Washington, D.C. to educate U.S. lawmakers. And Decrypt reports how Monero more dangerous than Bitcoin, this according to the German finance ministry. Well, first up, Bloomberg reports that Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg plans to defend Facebook's Libra project before a congressional panel later today. According to a prepared statement, Zuckerberg says Libra won't be launched without approval from the U.S. government, although he will argue that Libra's whole goal is to simply offer an affordable solution to existing methods of sending money abroad. He's just doing it for the good of the people. Zuckerberg is set to testify before Congress today at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure to tune in live at blocktv.com and at Block TV's official YouTube channel at 945 for our pre-testimony analysis, expert predictions, and of course, we'll be streaming the actual testimony live at 10 a.m. Well, it seems that this testimony is coming right on time because Coindesk reports that U.S. House Financial Services Committee is mulling over a bill that would classify all stablecoins as securities. This seemingly is in response to Facebook's Libra project, which itself is a stablecoin pegged to various currencies. If passed, the bill would put all stablecoins under the jurisdiction of the SEC, with all the headache that comes with that. The bill is only at the very beginning of the legislative journey, and as of yet, there is no indication of its support or ability to pass. But the bad news keeps coming for Libra. Cointelegraph reports that the CEO of ING, Ralph Hamers, said that if Facebook launches Libra, then banks like his might stop working with Facebook. This is just the latest major obstacle facing Libra. Hamers raised concerns such as the potential for money laundering using Libra as well as its unregulated nature. JP Morgan Chase CEO Jamie Dimon also said that Facebook's proposed Libra stablecoin is, quote, a neat idea that will never happen. Well, the odds steep pi keep piling up against Facebook's Libra coin. You Today reports that San Francisco-based cryptocurrency startup Ripple is now opening up a new office in Washington, D.C. with the sole purpose of educating lawmakers on the potential impact of crypto and blockchain. Plus, they made some personnel moves as well, hiring Craig Phillips, a deputy to U.S. Secretary, Treasury, US Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin, to Ripple's board of directors. Now, crony capitalism at its finest. Although Ripple did release in a statement that hiring Craig was to provide counsel to Ripple's leadership team and advise on strategic regulatory opportunities as Ripple expands its global network. I guess that sounds better than hiring the best friend of the head guy who makes the rules and laws for your business to a cushy position to win regulatory favor. I guess that's why I don't work in PR. Decrypt reports that the German finance ministry released the report saying that privacy coins such as Monero are more likely to be used for illegal activities than Bitcoin and thus pose a bigger threat. It says that Monero is better for anonymous transactions, money laundering, and terrorist financing on the dark net. While Bitcoin was re used recently to track down a child porn site and arrest those involved, Monero means, remains completely untraceable, and the German finance ministry believes that criminals will slowly transfer their transactions from Bitcoin to Monero for exactly these reasons. The agency announced the intention to pass legislation that would put the responsibility for these illegal transactions on the exchanges, wallet providers, and custodial services that enable these transactions. They hope that this will dry up the pipelines for privacy coins, but at the end of the day, there's not much that governments can do to stop decentralized currencies. It must be noted that up until now, Bitcoin is used much more than Monero across the board. Well, that was Blockheads. Stay current, stay informed, and stay tuned at blocktv.com. For more news and updates, follow us on Twitter.